Hi there folks, in this video we're going to outline how to cite or reference sources in a PowerPoint. This is very helpful if you're doing presentations or you're creating courses or you've got a class that's going to get these slides. So you'll see here that on the screen we see a title of respect here for the latest course coming out, the Gemba methodology, and this is part two of it, be respectful. And you'll see that down here in number, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, our fifth bullet point, we've got a reference here from a Forbes article. <clears throat> so how do we give this person credit for his great writing and his ability as a writer and the things that he shared with us? Well, the first thing we need to do is we need to create a slide. And you see I already have mine created here and you'll just title it references so if you haven't typed it in just go ahead and type that in and there we go so we've got that and you'll see that there's a couple other references there so now we want to enter our reference source here on our reference page now i like to keep a master sheet because word lets you put um, in citations and they have formats that you can use so that you can use apa or um, any other type of MLA, any type of citation that you want. In this case, we're using um, APA. And so what I need to do is go back to the page. And we see down here that it's Glenn Lopez was the author. So I will come back to my master sheet. And I'm just going to grab all that information. Now, if you want to create a different type of citation, um, there's plenty of videos out there for it. In this case, we're not going to dig into creating that on Word. So once we get all the information, I'm just going to paste that in there, and you'll see that here's my citation right there. Now, what we want to do is place a number. In this case, it's going to be number three because we've used up to number two. So number three. And then we're going to close that bracket just so it stands out. And what we're going to do is go ahead and highlight this. And you'll come up here to insert, click on link. And we're going to come up to slide number five, which is where our reference is. It'll give you a picture so we can see it's down there on the bullet point. And we're going to hit OK. Now you'll see that that reference is created right there. So now we want to go back up to slide number five and we want to highlight this right here and we're going to go just right after the title which is six things wide leaders do to engage their employees and we're going to stick a number three in there and of course you want to match your citations up so that the symbols all look the same we're just going to highlight that again we're going to click on link and then we're going to come down here to the references click on that and voila we've got it right there so now if we go ahead and make this slide big we're in presenter mode right here then you can see all the links are right there so that's how you create references in your slides and be sure to give everyone credit where credit is deserved. Hope this solution helps you out and lets you pass knowledge along. And we will talk to you later.